Yeah, I mean, as Søren already said, um, open access is important. So um, I'm very happy to have the chance talking here about open access and really to um, deep dive a little bit deeper into it. I mean, we have heard it the last two years, as the last two days, sorry, last two years also. Um, we see a boost in, in demand for data driven by cloud adoption, smart city developments, remote working, 5G, edge computing. So consequently, the demand for connectivity is increasing too. And in our view, to do this in the best possible way from an economic point of view as well as from an environmental point of view to us. This is the uh, main challenge currently we are facing in this market. So therefore, very happy to be able to share with you our view on open access networks. It's, in our view, the, one of the hottest uh, topics currently in our industry and um, for us to a very good reason. Open access networks do not only provide operational flexibility, as you heard from CERN, and cost efficiency, they also reduce significantly the ecological footprint of the uh, digital networks. At Eurofiber, the openness of our networks is a key element of our philosophy. We believe that open infrastructure fuels innovation as customers to have the uh, complete freedom to choose the services, the applications, and the providers they need, not being limited by the package, by package deals, or technical constraints. It was in the year 2000 when the founders of Eurofiber recognized the opportunities of an open dark fiber network accessible to all on a non-discriminatory terms. Since then, our networks have become the foundation of the uh, digital societies of the markets we currently serve, which are Netherlands, Belgium, France, and Germany. Eurofiber as company, we do operate roughly as of today, 60,000 kilometers of fiber networks, as well as 11 data centers. One of the key principles at Eurofiber is the credo, build once, serve many, which means we only build once we have signed a customer. When we roll out, we always make sure that we have ample capacity for future demand. Clear enough, these are small extra investments, but they are giving us room for a further organic growth. In this way, we have built a densely meshed network, currently serving thousands of customers. We provide these use cases optimally by a combination of widely available fiber capacity, a modular network design, and open infra business models with multiple users in a level playing field. As said, we started 2020. Um, we have been one of the early adopters of open access networks. And still, it was not long ago that we have been perceived as a niche player. Surrounded by large tel telcos, they only opened up their network the fiber networks uh, to competition forced by regulation. Especially in recent past, increasingly, we do see more and more of these large network operators developing the wholesale business and literally open up their businesses to new opportunities. So the question is, why is this growing interest in open access networks? Where does it come from? Well, for one thing, clear enough, digital connectivity is also the uh, foundation of smart cities. This gives way to an unlimited amount of use cases that need premium digital connectivity, which only can be supplied via fiber. FTTH, 5G, smart cities, IOTs, 
edge infrastructures, just to name a few. By aggregation of demand of those use cases, together with an open network concept, we can create a model in which different users can have access to high quality fiber connections at reasonable rates. I mean, of course, as operator, Zern also mentioned it a couple of minutes ago, the economic advantages of open networks are quite evident, especially in, in uh, poorly populated areas or in cities where the uh, rollout of a network, of a fiber network, is either technical or organizational difficult, complex. Open networks are not only depending on one user or a few users, therefore it's possible to spread the costs <clears throat> of deployment, sorry, and ensure a much higher utilization compared to traditional networks. That's the economic point of view, but um, I think one thing we have to be clear of, telecommunication industry is a industry of vital importance and telecommunication industry is growing fast. So we also should take into account the impact on society we do have. I mean, especially in Germany, last two years, trenching of streets in the cities um, might be well received and, and to a certain extent all, uh, also highly appreciated. But opening the ground three times in a couple of years for deploying three networks is definitely not. And one thing I think we have to very be clear on is we are not the only builders in the cities. We share the underground, the limited underground space we share it with several other infra players. So, for example, the power transportation companies who also have a challenge ahead of them uh, facing the energy transition. Added to that, we are wasting scared resources by deploying multiple digital infrastructures. And here I'm talking about we are wasting energy, we are wasting commodity, but we are also wasting limited labor resources. A good example, at least from our point of view, is our joint venture in Berlin, where we built a fiber network with minimal intrusion. We are using the existing duct system for heating in the city. It was back in 2000 when our shareholder and infrastructure partners have been approached by Vattenfall. Vattenfall, the global energy provider, provides and manages and owns, clear enough, the sitting heating system in Berlin. It's a tunnel system of roughly 700 kilometers. The challenge back in 2020 was as follows. Why not making use of this tunnel system to deploy fiber optic cables? Well, in that way, things came together swiftly. In September 2020, we announced the establishment of a joint venture, which will provide fiber access for more than 500 homes and businesses in Berlin. It will be an open network, accessible for all broadband providers. In December 2020, the Vattenfall Eurofiber joint venture was established, and roughly one year ago, we started operations for our launching customers. In Berlin, we are making use of those small but very powerful robots, as you can see here on the um, chart, which are pulling through fiber optical cables through the heating system. The network, as said, in Berlin is available to all internet providers on a non-discriminatory basis. I mean, not only it will bring connectivity to those 500,000 homes and businesses in Berlin. It will also lay the foundation under the smart city of Berlin, supporting all kinds of applications from traffic systems to security to entertainment. We are confident that the evident advantages of open fiber networks also apply to cloud infrastructure. 
The advent of 5G and edge computing drives convergence of connectivity and cloud infrastructure. And data storage will not only take place in regional data centers, but also decentralized on a local level. We are convinced the edge data centers will be part of our future network, and the mesh of data clouds will increase. So spanning multiple countries, supporting advanced use cases for cases like robotics and low latency applications. To secure the access between the cloud infrastructures, we believe open infrastructure is, is needed to truly enable seamlessly connected networks. In 2021, we entered a partnership with NGN Networks. NGN Networks is the operator of one of the largest unique fiber networks in Germany. Being more than 20 years in the market, NGN offers more than 90,000 kilometers fiber infrastructure, covering all major cities and approximately 80% of all highways in Germany, Bundesautobahnen. Growing by more than 1,500 kilometers per year, having thick thumb, 180 data centers, 1,400 mobile base stations, and again, thick thumb, round about 500 FTTH development areas on net. We feel with this partnership, we are perfectly positioned to empower the digitalization, offering open and accessible infrastructure to all levels as horizontal players. I think we heard it several times today, all of us are looking for efficient efficiencies in our capital allocation. We believe to achieve true impact, we need collaboration among all players, small players and large players. To wrap it up, we as Eurofiber, we believe that open access networks for fiber connectivity and cloud infrastructure will become the norm soon, Europe-wise. If we only look at the growth of edge computing, we just talked about it, in the streets of our smart cities, and quite soon the guidance which will be needed for self-driving cars. If you look at the rollout of 5G networks among by neutral hosts, as we have heard, the spectacular growth of IoT applications in general, then one thing is very, very clear to us, we will not only need more fiber, we definitely need more efficiently sustainable used fiber. To us, shared infrastructure will be an imperative for the way we connect in the future. Thanks. Thank you very much. <clears throat>